Hello and welcome to 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated Muharraq Youth Center in the presence of a number of ministers, Shura Council members, MPs, governors and distinguished guests. The new center, which was established by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, features a comprehensive administration building equipped with all services, a football field, a cultural hall, a VIP hall, a semi-Olympic indoor swimming pool and a coffee shop. It also includes a digital library, the first of its kind in the Kingdom of Bahrain, a youth center as well as a separate building for girls. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports keenness to develop the youth centers in line with the royal directives of His Majesty the King, who values the important role of the Bahraini youth in building the future of the country. He also praised the efforts of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs in embracing the Bahraini youth and nurturing their talents via the construction of the youth centers, highlighting the support, the support of His Majesty the King to Bahraini youth. The third edition of Bahrain Falcon and Hunting Tournament was concluded today, which is being held under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The event is taking place at Al Zabkh area near Bahrain International Endurance Village. The Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Chairman of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He expressed his thanks to uh, His Majesty King, ha King Khajan for attending the Bahraini Falcon and Hunting Tournament, reflecting His Majesty's keenness to support this heritage sport. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stated that uh, the directives of His Majesty of preserving the genuine Bahraini heritage had a remarkable influence in maintaining such sports and their development in the kingdom. His Highness went on to affirm that His Majesty's visit to the tournament site had a great effect on the participants' motivation as he is regarded as the prime supporter of heritage sports in Bahrain. He added that His Majesty's encouragement for this contest since its launch has reflected positively on the broad participations of Bahraini contestants in GCC countries where they have achieved high results that showcase the Bahraini youth capabilities as well as demonstrating the prestigious level the sport has gained. He also expressed his thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailing his role in achieving the visions of His Majesty the King. The event ended with crowning the winners of the tournament by the brief chairman, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and Sunday will mark the launch of the junior falcon hunting competition with 60 participants. The competition will last until next Wednesday. The esteemed French fashion designer Christian Laberton is visiting Bahrain for French Week. More on this report with Shoga Mohammed. French Week continued today with Christian Louboutin's visit to the kingdom. He was the guest of honor at a charity gala organized to raise funds for the RIA Institute and the Bahrain Down Syndrome Society. Louboutin had visited Bahrain almost two decades ago and had a lot to say regarding the changes and his experience in Bahrain. Bahrain has changed a lot in 17 years and um, I don't remember any French Week or anything of the sort. But I had come to actually look at the country for the first time. It was not totally business driven in the sense of I had no stores, etc. I just wanted to know a little bit about Bahrain because uh, I would say that Bahrain among the Emirates about uh, in the Gulf has a very, very specific, has a very, very specific place because it's been, uh, it, it's, it's been an important place for a very, very, very long time and in a type of mythological way around this area, uh, uh, about this area, it has a very, very special place. Mm -hmm. But it's always a nice thing to see that a big part of different territories, French ter cultural territories, have been always, have been always uh, appreciated in, in different places. Mm -hmm. So I was yesterday to the French week discussing with different people, they were talking of their region, the French region, they were talking, of course, we were talking wine and food, etc. But there is a lot of interest into different segments of the French cultures. Mm -hmm. And uh, so again, knowing it, you know, knowing it, taking it for granted is not the biggest solution. It's nice to really experience it and see it. 
I have to say Bahrainit, and I did remember for my first trip 17 years ago, something which hasn't changed, has not necessarily evolved because it doesn't need to evolve because it's really very ingrained in, in here is a, a, a very, very elegant sense of hospitality, uh, which means a lot of generosity from people, but also, uh, yes, yes, definitely the sense of hospitality, which is very, very, which is quite important in the Gulf. French Week would go on until the 23rd of January. For Bahrain News, I'm Shogun Mohammed.